hi guys very good afternoon to all of you welcome to the video number 438 my name is Ajay Parmar and today in this video we are going to see that uh, if you want to uh, create the dynamic combo boxes uh, if you want to set up the relationship between two combo boxes in Excel we may use the forms then how you can do that uh, which means that basis one combo box value the other combo box should automatically change right in Excel we all know how it is uh, done if you do not know then please go and watch uh, Excel offset function playlist and Excel uh, indirect playlist i talked about this recently in fact a uh, uh, few of you have had emailed me also on that and i uploaded the video on the same so you can go and watch that videos as well but in this video we are going to talk about the user forms in excel right so this is going to be a coding uh, if you are watching the channel for the first time this is the video number 438 and uh, we have got all these videos on excel excel vba access and access vba please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and this is the channel youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parman right so guys uh, and please watch my videos always on the YouTube that's gonna help and that's going to be a immense support from all of you if you go and watch these videos on the YouTube now guys um, you also asked me that how to start the training if, if they want to learn the Excel Excel VBA or access or access VBA this is the playlist where you can go and you'll find here 45 different playlists created every playlist has a different uh, you know the, the number of the videos here and different categories with the different categories so go and watch these uh, playlists one by one and if you do not know how to watch which playlist is to watch first if you are a beginner these are the playlists which you can watch this is for the excel vba this is for the excel this is for the access and this is for the access vba right now i'm going to talk about today uh, uh, as i said that uh, so we are going to create two combo boxes and in one combo box i'll create the headers excel vba excel access front end and access vba and then uh, whatever i choose uh, in that combo box the combo box 2 is going to give me these names so we can take the example of this playlist as well right so how you will do that uh, let us go ahead and first of all uh, let's go and uh, create that so I go in the visual basic and uh, I'm going to hit on the user form this is where I insert on the user form and by the way if you are new to the programming if you don't have any clue about the user forms then as I said uh, you, you would see here uh, there is a playlist called um, Excel uh, VBA user forms right I might have uh, missed that here uh, because I don't see that uh, the playlist here but you know I think actually I should add that here and that is going to be added here uh, maybe after this you can add it so there is a playlist which I created actually guys um, on this uh, channel which is called the Excel uh, VBA user forms right so we basically talked about every f form control there whether it is a text box or whether it is a uh, uh, you know the combo box or it is a label or it is a frame or it is a list box or uh, ref control uh, the calendars we talked about everything you just need to uh, click here you know uh, maybe you can write here the user form or you can just scroll it down and you 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 will be able to see that let me show you by the way so uh, if you type user this is what you will see 15 videos are there right so all the videos are um, the beginner level videos a mixture of intermediate and advanced videos as well so go and watch all these videos one by one right so anyways let's come back to the topic so the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a combo box so from here I'm going to choose my combo box so this is my combo box I just drag this my combo box here right and we go to the view and the property windows uh, make sure that you should have a name of the combo box uh, which I'm going to give it as let's say CMB uh, header so this is the name I'm going to give it if you would like to give it a you know any other color let's say you want to give it a the back color as you know uh, this you can you can go and check you know these all colors one by one so look at this this is the black but I'm not going to do that I'll just keep maybe I can use this color that's okay and uh, if you want uh, to let's say give the border color you can go and give the border color from here as well guys right but I will uh, not really uh, do much into that because um, the colors I don't really personally speaking I don't really somebody who like to fancy the forms so I just keep the option simple and the only thing we, which you can do is maybe you can go and change the font just in case if you're if you're looking for the bigger form maybe you can bold it or maybe you can use the you know the aerial black also so that's all up to you so let's say I use the aerial rounded or you can go through all these forms one by one 
maybe i think this is also cool so bold and you can create the size you can make it nine right so this is how when you run this from here uh, in a while we will just run the code uh, so basically this when when you're going to run this the values which would come here they are going to have that font right now how the values are going to supposed to come this is the important thing for us so what we will do is uh, so the when the you know the form gets initialized so i click on this form right click on it go to the view code and this would come as user form click you can click here if it is not coming you would see here all the controls and you know we created the combo box header as well so it's showing up here now the idea is that whenever the form gets initialized initial uh, initialized means that whenever the form gets loaded in the memory before it comes in front of you right so what you can do is you can use the initialize here and then we can say that the moment this form gets initialized i would like to um, I would like to fill it, fill in uh, my combo box with these values. So you just go here and now I'm going to write couple of syntaxes here. So you you can see these uh, syntaxes here. Uh, so I just go and write me dot me means your user form, the name of the form. You can also write user form one, but me is a shortcut key. So you I think they like to save the time because me is very simple to write. So me dot and then what is your combo box so my combo box name if you remember that cmb header and then i'm going to use the row source okay uh, so the what is the row source basically so the row source actually is what you want to add here okay so maybe you can write like this if if you want to link it with the you know uh, the sheet for example sheet 2 I, I just write with the sign of exclamation and my values would come from uh, d1 to let's say uh, i think it's g right g1 Put it within the quote so sheet 2 is my name basically you can see the sheet 2 sign of exclamation you have to write and then d12 uh, it's actually h1 right and i think there is one tab here which is e i don't know why this e is created uh, maybe i can delete that let's say i delete that and uh, yeah so i d e f g so this is perfect right now what happens when i run this code look at this what will happen so when I click here, you get to see here the values. Now Excel VB is coming. The rest of the values are not coming because I guess we are, we have designed the form in the horizontal direction. Uh, but I will tell you what are the you know what exactly how we actually can um, sort out this issue. But important thing is if you look at this Excel VB, look at the font of this guys. This is what exactly you know I chose there. So that's all up to you. Now instead of uh, I think it's uh, the the issue is with basically D1 to G1 which is uh, this range. So you can do one thing. You can uh, copy this and you can paste this range um, maybe here or anywhere, right? For example, I just create the uh, transpose of this and now here this range I'm going to use which is from F11 to F14. So it's in the vertical direction. So I just write here F11 and then you're going to write here f 14 now the moment the when, when i run this form the form get initialized and let's see what the value is going to be there all right so we got the values here right now obviously you need to change uh, you just need to increase a little bit the width of this uh, we will do that later but now so you saw that this is the one of the method which you can do the there is another method which you can do which you can use uh, if you don't want to refer it to the uh, you know this sheet what you can do is you can write here cmb header and then you can write here add item what do you want to add right so you can write here excel vba so i can write here excel vba and then same line you can you need to copy it so you just copy and paste it here four times and uh, so we have the excel i write here excel then the next header is access front end so i just go and write the access front end here this is the second method i'm telling you uh, personally speaking I like to link it with the Excel range I don't use this but I mean just in case if you want to do that you can do that so this is my access VBA so now when I run this again you will have the same output there's no difference right so the only difference is that uh, if any time user changes something here if you if you use the 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 previous uh, syntax you know the changes will reflect immediately but using this every time the developer has to come in this window and change the code or modify the code that's all up to you right okay so this is my first combo box which is created now let's go and create one more so i just copy this and i paste the box here okay now this box uh, 
again I select the box and go to the view and click on the property windows I'm just going to name this as combo box CMB uh, so CMB subject let's say this is what I'm going to do it right again you can go to the font and you can change the font right now it's uh, the you know the botanic board so I'm okay with that that's fine so but I know that my this list is long you know you can see they are really really uh, you know very wide actually we have a long syntax here so I prefer using the uh, maybe uh, the 8 the size 8 I think it's fine right so that's what uh, I'm going to do and so now what we need to do is the moment the any change happens in this combo box you should be able to see so when I run this if I select Excel VBA, you know, it should actually give me the Excel VBA courses, which are these courses. And if I select the uh, Excel, then it should give me this, you know, this playlist. So this is what actually we are looking forward to, guys. Right. So this is very simple. Uh, this looks like little uh, maybe, you know, tough to you, uh, but this is very easy. Uh, first of all, I just go and create the width of this little, you know, let's increase the width. Now, what I actually want is... Um, so basically you you double click on this form or right click or view code and now we are what we are going to do is so whenever there is a change happens in this control which is cmb header uh, we would like to run a code which is going to fill in the values in the combo box uh, 2 which is combo box subject cmb subject right so what we will do is we'll put the if condition here we're going to say that if cmb header uh, dot value uh, is equals to please remember if is a case sensitive in VBA right so make sure you use the correct uh, case so if this is Excel VBA then what I would like to do well then I would like to go and I would like to use dot me dot uh, CMB subject uh, dot row source you can use the add item as well that's all up to you but then you will have to add all those items you know all these uh, two three four five six seven eight you know the values uh, here manually which I think it's not a good way because it's going, going to take a lot of time I can simply say that then please go to the sheet 2 and then write the sign of exclamation and I'm going to use the a two two uh, sorry d two colon two d 17 isn't it yeah right I hope you got the point so basically we are simply saying that if the value in the comp box is going to be in the combo box header is going to be XOVB and then we will have this the another box you know we will write there we will create the row source as sheet 2 and d2 to d7 right okay so what if this is going it is not going to work well then you again go and paste the same stuff here so I just go and copy this if this is not going to happen then guys uh, it will go and check for the next else if. so we are going to use the else if here so what if the value actually is excel if my user targets the excel then what is you know what we're supposed to do then in the excel you have a range called e2 to e19 right so you can write here e2 to e19 okay that's how it is so there is one more else if we are going to use uh, if this is also not the condition if what if the user uh, selects you know something else so let's say if the user is going to select the access front end then in the access front end, uh, we're going to choose uh, F2 to F5. So we're going to use here F2 uh, to F5, right? This is how. And then there's a one more else if we are going to use, um, which is going to be uh, the last one, which is access VBA. So I just go and copy. Okay, so I think I can simply write here access VBA. And then what is the range? So the range is going to be uh, G2 to G5. Okay, G2 to G5. And you can always create the extra buffer as well. For example, if you know that in the coming times you will have more, you know, you you you, you will have more values here, uh, then more headers here, then you can more subjects here. Then you can simply say G2 to G10 or G50, whatever, right? That's all up to you. Okay. Uh, if nothing is going to met, then I just don't want anything. So do nothing this is just for your understanding you don't have to write they do nothing but you know this way I mean if you look at it you will understand the code in a better way so we are saying that if any of the criteria is not going to meet then just go to the end if and don't do anything right so guys I put the break code here so that the code should not run so now let's let's run the code first of all so I'm gonna hit on this 
and the moment you find the change in this combo box because right now it is empty and the moment it is now going to be a value which is excel vba vba from the empty what will happen that macro is going to trigger so let's have a look all right there we go so you can see that the macro triggered automatically so now you know that this is going to qualify here excel vba all right so now what we're going to have we have the rules of the another combo box is going to be sheet to do you know d2 to d17 all right so it must have done its job now it's in the end if and we have this enter all right so i just remove the pay code and let me have a look here wow amazing isn't it i think this is fantastic guys right so this is how you can use this all right so if i just go and select the excel let's have a look so again this is going to run let me quickly run this okay so there we go look at this now this actually you have here excel demo videos we look up and match count and all the series you know you see that this is the all the series is coming very nice if i just go and change the access front end now when you change the access front end have a look here all right this is working guys you have the access tables this is very powerful if you select the access vba you have all the access vba protection arrays with access collection loops now i don't know whether you observe this or not but i still have one issue which is whenever i do any change here whenever i change the access vba to excel vba why the heck this value is coming this should not come isn't it i know that when i click here i mean i will get the new value updated but this is also should be you know gone this should remove this should look like a blank you know isn't it so then what you're going to do is it's very simple uh here whenever the change happens first make sure that the my the cmb subject cmb subject the value in the cmb subject equals to space or maybe you can write the hyphen here that's all up to you right so before it works on the if condition it has to be blank so that's it guys now let's go and run this uh so i'm going to run the code here again obviously uh, you you will go and create some button here so let me quickly insert the module also let's do this one person job as well so i'm just going to write here macro form show what is the name of your form so it's actually use a form one dot show and you create here anywhere a button uh, you can you can create the button here as well that's fine so you go to the insert and you, you're going to insert the shape here so i select any shape here and there we go and i right click and i go to the assign macro and we have the form show all right there we go so let's click on there and we have the form coming excel so we see that the excel all the the play you know the subjects are coming very nice uh, i select let's say excel indirect now the moment i change this to excel we will let's see what's going to happen look at this guys it is now empty right it shows a hyphen so this is looking very good right so now you have here the excel vba playlist coming okay the head is coming and then you select the access vba look at this again it is going to be blank and you have the access you know items coming here so that's it for now i'm not going to take much of the time just one request to you please support the channel have a subscribe to it share it with all the needy people and this is exactly the code which we have written pause the video and you can have a look on this code and please try this yourself so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you soon with some other exciting stuff very soon take care and stay fit have a fantastic learning